Hey guys, I'm back and obviously I'm back to film the Ipsy unbagging because, you know, it's something I do every single month. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll just get right into that because um, I don't have anything else to say. But I did paint my nails today with the other one from um, the last bag, this one, that if you guys haven't seen that, you should because um, my reaction to the nail polish was a little strange. But, um, yeah, okay, so the bag looks like this, and it kind of reminds me of, like, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, because it has, like, the same type of, like, cube design. Okay, so anyway, this month's bag is Beauty Candy, and, um, it says, In experiencing a sugar high from all this beauty candy, share a pic of your October glam bag. Don't forget to use hashtag Ipsy and beauty candy for a chance to win a one year subscription to even more glam bag goodies to satisfy your craving. So yeah, okay, that's what that says. And um, let's see what's in the bag. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Wow, I don't think I ever had this much in one bag. Like, that's a lot. So um, I guess I'll take this one out first. Fall in love this season. Oh, yes, oh my God, it's a lipstick. I'm just, you know. My little obsession with lipsticks is like never ending. So this is by the brand Noya, N-O-Y-A-H. All natural lipstick. Um, check out our new fall approved shade, apply. Note that it's very creamy and it's never tested on animals, which is nice. And um, they have like a little uh, promotion that says get 15% off and a free lip balm. So. Maybe if I like it, I'll get that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take off the lipstick I'm wearing now. I'm gonna put this one on because I'm feeling this. Um, this is really pretty. It's like a mauve dark kind of purpley color with like brown undertones, I guess. So um, I love this lipstick and um, it's just gorgeous. So um, I'll let you know how much it costs because I'm actually interested because maybe I'll buy it. It's not like super expensive. But it's actually really similar to um, one of the lipsticks that I have by Revlon, which is this one. I think they're like pretty much like the same color. So this is my Revlon one, so I guess it's like a dupe. So, yeah. They're very similar, and um, the Revlon one has literally been like the only lipstick I've been wearing this fall. So you can tell why I love this one. Okay, Roseberry. Nourishing and Soothing Hand Cream, Figs and Rouge, with Shea Butter, Hand Cream, Hand Cream, okay, Pure and Natural, and it's made in the UK, so that's nice, um, let's smell it, oh, I can't, it's closed, whatever, I'll open it, mmm, I like it, it smells kind of like fruity and, and berry, but I don't know, like, Exactly like witch berries. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's my phone. But yeah, um, the packaging is really, really cute. It's like super colorful and um, I'm really feeling it. So I'll let you know how I like the cream. Next thing in here is, I think this is an eyeliner. Um, tattooed waterproof eyeliner. <laughs> um, oh, let's try to open this. It's completely sealed. All right, cool, I got it open. Okay, <laughs> so it's a felt tip and it's pretty precise looking. Um, the thing is, I have trouble using stuff like this, but I will definitely try it out. Maybe I'll like it, I don't know. The only like liquid eyeliner I ever use is the Jessie's Girl one and you guys know that by now, but um, I'll give this one a try. And it is waterproof, so that's good. And it's from Scone Cosmetics. So I'll let you know how much that is. The next thing in here. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Like, this is perfect. This is like actually freaking perfect. Okay, so let me tell you a quick story. Right now, when I was doing my nails, I was going to use this nail polish by Sephora OPI to create a little design. And it didn't work because, like, it wasn't as pigmented um, 
against like the red, I guess. So it didn't work so well. This is literally like the exact nail polish, but what I actually needed to put on my nails. So this is by Nicole by OPI. And this is um, on a guilt trip. That's the name. And um, it's just like a little lighter version of that. And it's just like the perfect holiday color. And it's just like the perfect color. I just, I love gold. And I was actually thinking like, <laughs> I need to get another one. Like that's a little different looking because um, this is like the only gold I have. And voila, here it is. So that's good. I'm definitely going to be using this. And maybe I'll do like some sort of like um, holiday tutorials with this color. Let me know if you guys want that. So, the last thing in here is this Indiely Brightening Cleanser. And um, it says 100% all natural, paraben free, phthalate free. I don't know what that is, and I'm a pre-med student, I have no idea what phthalate is, so, oh well. Oh, ew. All right. Oh no, no, no. I don't even know what this smells like, but first of all, it's very strong. It kind of smells like something that you use like to wipe the floor with. <laughs> I don't know, it smells bad. And it's really strong and um, mm, no, no. I'm not feeling that. I don't even know if I'm gonna use this on my face because if it's that strong when I wash my face, then oh no, I'm not gonna wanna use that. So, um, overall, the most amount of stuff I got, um, from Ipsy ever in one bag, and that's, like, amazing. Yeah, um, I'm just excited about all these things, and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this really long Ipsy unbagging, but let me know what you guys got in the comments below, or, um, leave your YouTube so I can go check it out. Um, yeah, and I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, guys.